right. And I'm actually unmuted tonight, which is good. I didn't screw that up. <laughs> I have had a <coughs> bad habit, <coughs> excuse me, a bad habit of doing that. So happy not to be unmuted. All right. Give it a minute or two for anyone else who wants to join, but so we got one viewer. Excited about this one. This one should be fun tonight. Um, we're gonna finish the little foot, and then we will move on to um, the space space, which I haven't unboxed. I, I think I actually flipped open the box once, um, <clears throat> and I looked at it and I saw. Gateron inks are going in, but that's all I know. Uh, the acrylic was still covered. Um, I'm going to murder his name. Uh, Bibby Buscati. Bibby Buscati. That's what I'm going to go with. Uh, it's his board. He was, he was nice enough to send it to me uh, and let me build it on stream, which I think is awesome. So huge shout out to him for that. Um, but yeah, I, this should be fun. Uh, I haven't done a, what's called a customer build, right? No charge. I will build your shit on stream for free. We'll just split shipping. So if you want to build something, uh, or if you want me to build something, I'm happy to do it. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this, but I gotta find the little foot instructions um, just to make sure I do the Elite C correctly. Um, I have a tendency to screw up from micro ones. I know, what's up, Sergey? <laughs> I actually did it correctly this time. I was so embarrassed. I, went, I looked at the stream last night, including the uh, first part. Um, I went seven minutes muted, which was awful. I can't believe I did that. Not that we missed a whole lot. It was me just bitching about trying to find the OLED or the uh, encoders. Um, so we didn't really miss too much, but I am I am correctly unmuted tonight. But I got to find the build guide. I don't know if uh, the Royal put it out there. Um, GitHub little foot. Let's see what we got going on over here. Uh, I should probably search GitHub Royal, right? Yeah. I'm sorry, I changed up the uh, changed up the music tonight, trying to get a little more upbeat, something a little different, trying to feel good. Uh, but it's only an hour long, so we may have to switch it up after this. We'll see. There's some other stuff after that. We got plenty of time though. We're chilling tonight. Two builds. Uh, complete kits. Littlefoot. QMK docs. Read me. Is there a... There's no build guide. Of course not. Why would there be a build guide? I'd be asking too much, right? Uh, rules. There's my hex file. JSON, config, key maps. Yep. I don't think he has anything here for that, which kind of sucks, but we're going to wing it. I think I can figure it out. And like most, uh, like I said, we're going in the blue resin case tonight, so this will be really cool. Um, I decided we're going to go with strawberries, KTT strawberries, uh, unlubed. We're, whoops, we're dropping them. We're not going to lube them. Um, these are really good switches stock. I don't think lubing does too much, especially based on other people's opinions. Um, plus, I can't get them open with my switch opener, so... We'll deal with that, um, but these are good switches, and I won't need stabilizers for the two uh, two use because these are so steady. I, I've used these in my hot swap minivan um, and did not need stabilizers. I use them in the hull that I have up there, didn't need stabilizers, so uh, I really like these switches, and they're factory lube, so they, they sound good, they're smooth, and very, very little wobble. So we're not gonna do much to them, but that's what we're gonna use tonight. Um, and then like last night, I, I went ahead and soldered all the all the uh, diodes so we're gonna give this a go uh no promises that qmk works on my pc i've had a lot of issues with that um i don't think this is ported over to via or vile i could be wrong maybe one of you guys knows um but yeah like most pro micro builds i'm pretty sure that um i'm gonna have to start with uh with the switches first and then we do the pro micro underneath i'm like 99 percent sure Unless someone else, uh, someone else knows better. I thought I had hot swap sockets. I gotta look. That's the one thing I forgot to 
check. Specifically for the Pro Micro is what I mean. I should. I've got the little strippy ones. These are not my favorite with the Elite C because they're almost too low profile. Here we go. These should work. They're not, these aren't low profile, but there we go. That should work. We'll just triple check. It's going to go on the underside. The good news is the Elite C is small enough that I actually shouldn't have any issues with this, I don't think. Maybe I will. I don't know. I have to figure that out. Hmm. I'll be curious to see how this goes. And plus, I need standoffs. I have standoffs here. At least I'm pretty sure I need standoffs. So we'll figure this out as we go. That's the fun part. But appreciate it. And uh, appreciate you guys being here tonight. See if we can uh, get to the. I know everybody's here for the space space, I think. That's pretty sure that's what everybody's here for. Um, but like I said, we'll get to the little foot first. Turn on the soldering iron. We'll put this to the side. But switch is next, right? That's always the, uh, we did diodes, next switches. I'm not doing a reset switch because the Elite C has one. But yeah. Oh, we're on the wrong side, that's why. Hey, Dak. <laughs> Thank you for joining. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. Hope you enjoy your time tonight as we hang out and build fun stuff. Like I said, trying to be a little more upbeat tonight. Have a good time. There we go. Like I said, these are going to look good. Uh, in there and like I said I'm doing to you I was gonna do the 7u uh, full disclosure stabs don't fit under this plate so I'm here to stare at that ocean well Veritas there you go now it lights up <laughs> I appreciate that and hey Dak again thank you for joining so um, like I said I started this last night I already did the diodes now we're gonna do the fun part with the switches I love how everything fits so nice and easy uh, hopefully this is a fast part of the build. I hate hot swapping the Pro Micro, but or Elite C, but that's what we're gonna do because I don't want to have any issues. I had issues stack with your uh, with your um, what you call it, Baby Grand, um, which I'm disappointed to say I had issues with it, but I did. Um, not your fault, but as you know, I put the uh, <laughs> I put the Pro Micro on backwards because I'm an idiot. But shh, don't tell anybody that. Can't wait to get mine yeah i i uh i appreciate all the support i know i've said it like a bunch um but i definitely definitely appreciate all the support for ocean um we had people taylor ping me today uh we have had people buy multiple so um i guess the two pay periods was a good idea we had someone buy one at the beginning of the month uh right at the first damn it can't hold this together and then they bought one uh today so Got some big ballers out there, which is kind of exciting and fun. Stay. This is the downside with no pins. Oh my god. What color did you go with, Veritas? I can't remember. You gotta remind me. I'm always curious to find out what people got. Is there a better way to hold this? Like a clamp? Or am I gonna have to like weirdly three-finger this crap? Yep, let's do it that way. Space space looks looks funny. Tape. Yeah, actually, you know what? Good call. Thank you, 15. Let's do that. Got the frog tape tonight. No blue painters tape for wusses. <laughs> Your butt looks funny. What are we, five years old? Don't use your teeth, kids. It's a bad idea. It's funny, I can do this. I could, uh, but I don't want to do it that way. 
just I'm paranoid like I want my switches in there nice and deep so did you get it working no uh, not yet Dak I just I haven't gotten around to reinstalling the pro micro that's been the biggest uh, hold up so I'll get around to that at some point Also, some exciting news for me. Um, I actually have an interview tomorrow for a new job, so that's exciting. Hopefully that goes smoothly. The first of potentially five or six, some ridiculous amount, but I'm so used to that now. All these companies want stupid, stupid, because uh, that case you made was super cool. Yeah, the case is neat. Uh, the downside, though, Dak, is that... Um, because there's no switch plate, there's no good way to secure the PCB in there. And I'm curious if anybody has done a switch plate for low profile builds, like chalk switches. I don't know if that's possible. Um, I feel like it is, and I feel like that'd be cool. Thank you, Veritas, appreciate it. Yeah, I'll be fine. I, uh, knock on wood, I interview pretty well, or I tend to. Um, I've been, I've applied to a couple jobs I had like no business getting. Um, and made it pretty far so interviewing is a skill but i'm a people person right <laughs> and hopefully you guys saw when i interviewed uh will project kane you see how good i am not to toot my own horn too much but i will gladly toot my horn about that which reminds me i gotta get Koob on here soon that's gonna be a fun interview I gotta talk to him Which, if you don't know, he said in his server, uh, Pearl R2 is in like four months. So we got time. But I am super, super excited for Pearl. Naturally. Low pro corns with plates. Yeah, like I said, I, if, I can, if I can get a plate file, or at least make a plate file myself for the Baby Grand, then we'll, uh, we'll have a really nice case design. And I'm glad Dak likes it. If you guys don't know, Dak created the Baby Grand. But it'd be cool to offer a 3D printable case. That's also how my mind works, too, is straight up I saw that and I'm like, it needs a case. <clears throat> now it really doesn't. It's made to sit on bump-ons and be used as is, but my brain's like, hey, this would look really awesome with a 3D printed case. Which is also how like I came up with police van and I'm like, oh, I can design this. So if you guys aren't using Fusion, I've done that tutorial. Go use Fusion. Stretch your brains out. It's awesome. I do need to build a low-profile corn again. If I get back into ortho, like if the little foot kicks me back into ortho, and then... Space Space gets me excited about something like that again. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to get back into Ortho, or Ergo, or however you want to call it, Splurgo. Still the same. Which I do remember that the corn was like one of the most comfortable typing experiences. Period. Um, which my SP Mini reminds me of it now. I got small, smooth brain. You could still do it, 15. You could. No doubt. I believe in you. It's not hard. In fact, uh, some guy posted on both 3D printing today and uh, RMK. He had designed some artisan boxes. And he was like, this is great. I can sell them. I said, I don't think there's a huge market to sell them. But they're one of the easiest things to start out designing. It's literally all just squares and extrusions. So it's not hard. Um, just need to know some measurements. That's where I would start, honestly. Just do some artisan boxes. Like, do a 3x3 three three to start, and that'll tell you if you want to use Fusion or not. I'm going to assume I have to clip these pins in this Pro Micro spot, because... Which I really don't want to do, just in case I ever have to desolder this. Also, there's, uh, there's holes here for RGB. <laughs> just throwing that out there. Uh, just throwing it out there, and with my case... RGB might actually look pretty cool, maybe.
I see you with the hmm, Hitina. I just don't think you can do it. I don't think anyone's too smooth brain, honestly. Trying to move quickly tonight so I don't get too much fumes. And realistically, I should be like masked up while doing this. I know better, but raw dog it, right? Or get a fan. Really, that's the answer. Just get a fan and a carbon filter. on these strawberries are easy to work with. You usually gotta wait like and seriously heat up the, the pens, but these are stupid easy. It's kind of nice. Oops, don't want to forget that one. That's what I was afraid of. That one's not in all the way. There we go. Can't have uneven switch heights, right? Dip my toes in a fusion, never fully learned it. Pretty sure a plate would be easy to make. It's just MX cutouts with 18. Yeah, not sure whether chalk switches clip into the plates or whether it'd be better to have make the plate thicker. And I think just having the plate touch the PCB would be all I need, honestly. Um, I think that would be best, Dak, but Again, I'll, I'll dive into it when I'm ready to jump back into that project a little bit. Um, that one's not dead or anything. It will happen. It's just a matter of wanting to do that. And I've just had this other stuff on my mind with Ocean and Police Van, and I still have to do DCS um, Spike Ball, which is 8008 done correctly. What if you get the fan with the mask on it? It's be the same, right? Uh, Dak, you're good. Don't apologize. It's all good. We're here to hang out. There's no rush. So hopefully this... Oh, damn it. I noticed it again. There we go. Yeah, so you want to make sure that switch was actually clipped in there properly. And that's not the end of this frog tape. There's a reason I got the frog tape, and that's to do the hot swap um, Elite C. Hopefully you guys know that trick. But I think uh, I think Space Space is integrated MCU, right? I don't think I have to worry about a Pro Micro. But if it's not clear, I dislike Pro Micro builds for the most part. I get it, they're cheaper and easier, but at the same time, ugh. That was fast. Alright, perfect. Nice. Look at that. Remember I said these aren't these aren't wobbly. So like take the shift key for example. There's like very little wobble these switches are awesome so if you guys are on the fence if you if you get a chance to get these or i think the matches are like the same the ktt matches get these they're awesome i mean look at that very little wobble and that's a 2.25 right yeah so that should tell you exactly what you need about these switches they're they're some of my favorites seriously for out of the box i remember when Alas showed me them um tried them in her MHKB that was SLS printed. So, Alright. So now, I'll have to remember what standoffs. I think they're like 
four or six millimeters. I actually have a ton of standoffs. If, uh, if anybody needs standoffs, I have plenty, I promise. Uh, these are from the, I think I need these guys. Um, these are from my, or do I need these? These are eight millimeter. I don't need the three millimeter. I think these are the six millimeter. These are all from when I did that corn case group buy. So the last recolor coming soon, if I remember correctly, and this should be nice. Yeah, so again, highly suggest these switches. Um, they're cheap too, that's it. I guess the other part, they're like super cheap. Um, they're not expensive, so. All right, now comes the fun part. I think these, I think this will fit over the pins and it does, but I wanna make sure that I put the Elite C on correctly because I have a tendency not to do that. Does anybody actually know which way it goes? Because I don't. I'm trying to match the... Oh, I should have looked before I... That was stupid. It says ground is up here to the left. I don't know which one's ground on. Can't see Jack Diddley squat. Anybody happen to know? <laughs> Square pad on the PCB to TX pin on the. Yeah, but it's not. It's not a. Uh, it's an Elite C, not a TX or not a uh, Pro Micro. That's the problem. Let's see if he's got it in here in his files of crap. Move some of this stuff out of the way. It's E4 or something. Let me check. Thank you, Dak. I appreciate it. Like I said, I don't want to screw this up. Um, now granted I am gonna oh I'm an idiot uh. <laughs> I meant to well I'll be damned um... hey you guys yeah rain that's the dyed resin case well I'm going to have to desolder this. I'm such an idiot. I forgot to do this first. Oh, my God. Oof. Thanks, Rain. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. But, um... Oh! I'm an idiot. <sighs> well, I guess the Littlefoot build will be delayed. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I did that. <laughs> that was so dumb. And I'm going to guess, Dak, that it goes this way because the reset switch is on this side, which would make the most sense. And then I can figure out what standoff height I need. Oh, boy, Siri. Um, well, then, this will wait. <laughs> uh, the good news is I can make sure these standoffs are the right size right now. And they should be. I think they're... I actually, ooh, maybe I need the, maybe I need the, um, 8 millimeter. Does not get the controller with components facing all. Cut out in the cases for it. That's what I thought. Um, just not excited that I screwed that. I can't believe I screwed that up. That was so stupid. I think these guys go here and here. So let's um let's at least get the standoffs in the case right now. We'll do that. I just oh my god, I can't believe I'm gonna have to I mean it's not a big deal. I've got a desolder gun up in the garage. So I can always desolder this board. It's not an issue, but it's just not what I was planning on, obviously. And I gotta find my screws too. Shit. I am so out of source. Hey, you guys. Is it? No. I swear to God, I'm more organized usually. I promise. This is like out of the norm for me. Got a ton of M2 screws somewhere. They're just hiding.
I can see you guys now. Oh, did you watch Hetchy's stream? Yeah, he's an idiot. <laughs> Losing shit. Doesn't know where anything is. I'm kidding, of course. Hopefully. Let's see if this size works. This should work. And if it's too tall, then we'll get the smaller ones. And I think this is only... There's only four standoffs needed but like I said I'll just finish this one up later that was that was a rookie mistake oh my god again this is why I don't do pro micro builds that often just bound to make a rookie ass mistake oops but you're right that's why the cutout uh, in the case so you can get to the components the last little foot I had uh, was built when I got it so I didn't have to build it um, so that made it easy, right? But also, I think I should um, I think I should 3D print a little badge or something for here. There's a little bit of a space in the two screw holes. I should definitely find a way to like print my own badge or something. Call it like the hedgy foot. <laughs> Something like that. <coughs> Alright. And then this should sit like so. Actually, that might be right about the right height, right? Print a mold and get a resin cast. Yeah, that could that could work too, right? Oh yeah. That's the right height. And that'll keep the that'll keep the pro micro nice and off the uh yeah. Okay. So like I said, good news. Is I got the right standoffs, and then I'll be able to Yeah, so The problem is you're right. Here's the middle standoff Good call. Actually, there's two more down. Oh, there's a bunch of standoffs. I'm an idiot. Okay. Let's go ahead and put this in I was gonna say it looked a little wobbly, right? Yeah, Sonic the Hedgehog colors. That's, I mean, I was gonna put Nautilus, I'm gonna, I'm going to, I see, I was gonna, I'm going to put Nautilus on here for now. Um, but again, I'm just, I just can't believe I just rolled through that without, oh, leave it to me. That's all right though, like I said, we'll go ahead and, oops, put these guys in. And like I said, I'll, I might desolder it tonight, later, we'll see. Super, super frustrating to do that, though. Yeah, and then two more. Okay. Oh, beware. I'm sorry. Beware of pixels. I didn't even see your comment. Yeah, you can't have paperwork. I'll tell you what, you can have it. It's uh, three hundred and fifty dollars. How about that? <clears throat> there we go. And with the standoffs, look at that. That's perfect. So, okay. Good news is we're not screwed. And then the more screws are going to go in through the top. I think I might need shorter ones, but I think that should work. I think it's enough space. Get it, space. This will be a this will be a tall but fun board to type on. So we'll we'll come back to this tree fitty. Yeah, tree fitty. All right, set that aside. Like I said, I'll mess with this later. I don't want to lose any components. That's for sure. So let's uh, let's keep everything together, shall we? Should bring the desolder station down here, but it's loud. All right, let's get to why you guys are all here, honestly. I do need to organize this component drawer badly. Um, let's put these back here for now. That way I just know where they are. That's right. Okay, bring the box over. Like I said, I don't know what color. Uh, what's his name? BB Biscotti? Bibby Biscotti? That's a fun one. 
Um, I do have the build guide up for this though, which is good. I will need it. I'll put whatever key set I think I have that fits for it. But send it to me in this nice KDE fans case. Thanks for your order. Scan the QR code below for build guides or FAQs. So that's cool. And it's a uh, laser cut. That's neat. <laughs> Jake's got some cool shit. Um, looks like encoder hardware. Looking at the instructions first. I've got the got the build guide pulled up. So got our encoder hardware. Put this to the side for now. We've got purple hardware and gold. Rings, standoffs, screws. So, okay. Interesting. Um, stabilizer stuff. I don't know what these pads are. I haven't messed with these pads. So if you guys know what these pads are, help me out. But I have not messed with those yet. I assume they're like the Band-Aid ones, like the ones that are from KBE fans, but have not messed with those yet. Don't want to lose anything here. Nothing else there. See what we got for switches. Yep. Get our on inks. Uh, these look like they're lubed. Because there's some lube coming up through the top. <laughs> yeah. So, so like I said, I really like these strawberries. Um, the wobble on the, the inks I notice more. And that's just because I've been using some, like, cheaper, but... They feel higher end switches lately. Uh, so, yeah. All right, I don't think there's anything else. This is a hell of a box, and this will be a good one to send back, too. Um, but let's unwrap and see what we got here. Yeah, thanks, Annihilator. If any of you guys have built this board already and you want to comment, let me know. Looks like you've got some cool, like, red marble ish encoders. Those look cool. I like the black in there. Cool. And let's see what colors we got for the board. And the PCB. A lot of parts to this. Jesus. I assume I need this foam, cork, whatever you want to call it. Alright, let's move this out. Sorry. Okay. Alright. This is cork. Whoa. Oh, that's cool. Looks like sad. Uh, is that the tortoise shell? Yeah. All right. Don't forget to peel the turtle shell away. Yeah. Hey, Jake. How are you? Thank you for joining, man. So I assume you're talking about the uh, the fun. I hate this part about acrylic. I'm assuming you're talking about this. Yes? Sounds like my wife is... Dancing upstairs. What the hell is happening? Dovetail. Yeah, this is beautiful. I'm gonna try and be real gentle. But that is cool looking. Look at that. Dude, Jake, this is great. Let's, uh, let's move this back a little further so I have a little more room. Start chucking garbage. It's funny, I'm pretty familiar with a lot of the... Uh, a lot of the acrylic stuff from when I did my corn group buy. Just tape to help peel off acrylic to give you the leverage. Oh, cool. Okay. So, like, the... I assume, like, my um, frog tape over here will work if it's not easy peel like this. Yeah. BB chose a good uh, good uh, color, I guess, right? I'm still mad at myself for the little play. <laughs> God. Chaos, what's up, man? That they should peel nice the turtle shell you have to dig at it when you say turtle shell are you talking about the the um these okay. 
the knobs. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. So, the, so there is, so there is a uh, tape on those. Interesting. Or protective. I bet they look even cooler with that stuff off them. Cool. Man, we got the full crew in here tonight. Thank you guys for coming to hang out. I appreciate it. Seriously. And uh, glad I could build something fun like this. Like I said, this is out of my comfort zone. I don't normally do ortho. So, yeah, I know. The cool kids do leave it unpeeled. There's no PC ocean. I'm sorry. I told you guys why. I'm not going to rehash this. <laughs> I understand the frustration, though. Ah, peel me. Interesting. I'll get to that in a second. Let me get all the acrylic first. There's so... Jake, there's so many pieces, though. Chaos build guide. Is that the one from Shopify, Jake? Because that's that's what I've got pulled up with the... Uh, it's like 16 pages long. This is some nice acrylic, though. I like this. He made a good choice. Yeah, in Chaos, it's a, it's a red space space with black hardware. I'm looking at it right now, I think. I gotta figure out where to put all this garbage. Oh. Yeah, that's yours. Yeah, orthonographer is not an option. Um, however, I heard if there's enough want and desire, maybe, potentially, someone might... <clears throat> Taylor uh, be doing a PCB if, if there's enough and it's gonna be expensive. I know that if we do it I'm not promising anything Oh, yeah, there's a piece on this side I didn't scan the card I'm too cool to scan it Jake, but I definitely thought that card was cool That was a uh, that's a smart idea. I really like that. So props to you Ooh, is this clear? Glass green? Is this glass green? It's one of my favorite colors. Let's get to that in a second. I love how many, like, choices of colors there are with your stuff, honestly. Um, between, like, all the acrylic builds. Like, I didn't get on the 40, 40 for me. Um, but, like, the choices were almost overwhelming. <laughs> Base kit. Don't get me started on that. Get all these pieces. This is such a nice neutral. What color is this, Jake? This is such a nice neutral color. I really like this. Okay. Yeah. Oh, more wood. Awesome. It smells like that burnt, uh, that laser burnt smell. Um, when we did all the corn cases that I, that I had for that group buy, the smell just like overwhelmed my loft. It was insane. That's frosted opaque beige. That's pretty cool. It's pretty neutral. I like it. Like I'm not a big neutral beige guy. I said that in previous streams, um, but it's a good choice. But yeah, the smell is very familiar. <laughs> Shell. Nice. Almost done peeling. Four more pieces. Oh, yeah. Okay, I think this is just. This is glass green. Hey, Cree. Uh, group buy finishes up tomorrow. Midnight uh, Central Standard Time. If you're still on the fence about buying Ocean, do not wait. Um, but it's going incredibly well, and I'm very, very grateful for all the support. So thank you guys, um, those of you that are in on it. I'm excited to share that board with you. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. Oh, this one's gonna be a little harder, there we go. I will say that black and blue are the dominating colors, um, surprisingly, for the group buy. Uh, black and blue take up over 50% of all the orders, uh, followed by purple and then green and then rose gold. Kill me. Yep. Whoa. What color is this plate? Copper? <laughs> Dude, that's cool. I like that a lot. I 
wish BB was in here because I know he said do the split space layout, but I'm assuming there's only one. Maybe someone can confirm. Did copper for your two yo build? Yeah, I just want split space. Okay, yeah, thanks, Pockets. That's what he wants. He said he wanted split space, so I assume it's like the two two use or whatever. weren't on a few minutes ago or if you just joined um chaos thank you for the follow i appreciate that quick reminder i will never uh beg for followers or subscribers i obviously appreciate it very much thank you um but seriously i i just do this for fun because i enjoy it keeps my mind going if you were part of my stream last night mental health is huge rain thank you very much you guys are awesome um i do have a buddy that drops in here occasionally and uh he, he drops gifted subs. It happens a lot. So, speaking of, thank you, Chaos. Thank you so much. Seriously. Appreciate it. Um, all right. I've got the. Oh, you guys said I got to peel these too. I assume these look better when they're peeled. Damn. Rally. Everybody doing it. Thank you guys. I got to start getting you a little bit more for follows to, or uh, subs. Holy shit. Blind. Thank you. Man, you guys are amazing. What a great group we have. Holy shit, these look good. Thank you, Dandon. Appreciate it. Dandon. That's a great name, Dandon. Also, for those of you that don't know, if you haven't figured out why my avatar on Discord and why here is Toby Flenderson, it's because my real name is Toby, so... Now you guys know. Jake, thank you. And you guys weren't kidding about pulling the turtle the off this. Wow. Um, that is hot. Good lord. Look at that. Jake, that's almost as good as my knobs, man. Like, seriously. Let's see if I can find that one knob. I've got so many knobs now. That's almost as good as the knobs, man. I think I like this red better. This is insane looking. Damn. Obscure. Yeah, I, I, I know that only part of it sticks out, so... Ah, come on. You guys said to cheat and use, uh, use tape, right? Let's see if it works. Don't use your teeth, kids. Nope, no dice. All right, trying to scratch these up. Definitely learned my lesson with acrylic and trying to use tweezers one time and then scratch the shit out of it. So, Rain, I'm not doing more knob jokes in here. I will not do it. got let's see i've got this build I'll finish the little folk what else i got some other stuff coming up but that's what i was trying to say earlier um i will build your board free of charge other than splitting shipping with me so if you guys want if you have a board you want me to build i promise i won't fuck up and do the switches and then forget the pro micro i'm happy to do that for you guys um, i love doing this this is fun for me um but yeah we, we're gonna do the little foot we, we're doing this tonight um, I've got the Packer, <laughs> the Poo Poo Pee Pee, um, Coriander, the Phoenix, and the MB44. And I think Phoenix and MB44 are going to be real soon. If Taylor ever gets around to shipping out the MB44, <coughs> not that he's super busy, um, that'll be incredibly helpful. But that'll probably be my next build of the MB44. So, all right, let's see if I can get the, uh, 
see if I can get this going, Chaos. So, looking at your build guide, you want to help me out here? Which piece is first? Oh, Taylor, yeah. Hey, look, Taylor's a good dude. Super helpful. Awesome, awesome dude, but I want MD44. Not that I'm antsy. And I'm not even doing the 3x3 layout. I'm doing the the full space. There's a lot of pieces in here. Oh, that goes into there. Okay. Like so, right? Oh, and these are bump-ons. All right, I'm gonna follow this build guide, but if you guys wanna help along too, that's great. That'd be super helpful. Like I said, it's not my first radio for sure. You don't know I've owned uh, 70, 70 total boards. So no stranger to boards and building them, but sometimes I still manage to fuck up like you guys saw. And yes, I am vulgar. If you have not figured that out, I am vulgar. So just throw that out there. Yeah, Piptine. It's it's been a lot. So that's why when everybody like, whenever someone like questions my experience, I'm always like, seriously, you're really gonna question that? Um. Wow, we ran out of music. Whoa. All right, let's do the seven hour mix. It says seven hours, but it's two hours. And if we hate it, we'll switch it up. All right. Encoders first, right? All right, Chaos, I'm going to lean on you. Just like when Blind Assassin was here and I was building the SP Mini, you're my you're my go-to, okay? You get to be interactive, just like I was with Jay and the... Uh... Favorites. You've talked a lot about your favorites, those 70 boards. Anything stand out as being terrible? Um... <laughs> uh, depends what you describe as terrible. Um... When doing the guide, I may or may not have completely built it before realizing encoders weren't in. I got you. Thank you. Um, as far as terrible boards, I don't know. It may come as a surprise. I really didn't like. Um, I really didn't like the Prime Elise uh, in polycarbonate, and I think a lot of that had to do with that there was no, um, there was no weight to the bottom of the board, so it sounded super hollow um, and pingy, and I. Obviously, a lot of people don't want any ping in a board. Um, I was really, I was really disappointed with that board, honestly. Um, especially because I traded the 45 ATS for it, which I didn't love the 45 ATS either. Which is weird because that's top mount. I had the brass plate in there. Um, I really did not like that board. Let's see what else. I've, I'm looking at my list now. Um, the low profile plank wasn't my favorite. But honestly, like, nothing, like, super sticks out, really, as bad boards. Um, my Collide 39 wasn't great. Um, I don't know if that was a layout issue. I'd almost want to give that a try. I wasn't very comfortable. But there was nothing wrong with the sound of that. That was an acrylic board, so couldn't complain too much. Um, yeah, I mean, and my first couple boards were, like, clicky switch boards, so it didn't matter. <laughs> So, yeah. Yeah. Nothing too bad that sticks out. Just, honestly, I think I was just disappointed with the Prime Elise because it was polycarbonate and I had high hopes and it just didn't sound great, in my opinion. Um, some of my favorites, though, like, I have some weird favorites. Like, um, I had a uh, X, not an XD96. It was a 96 key with um, the 5-degree knockoff aluminum case. It's tray mount. But it sounded really good. I had Otimu, um, Otimu Skies in there. Not the Silence, the regular Skies, and they were lubed, and they were really, really nice. So, All right, looks like uh, Switches are next. 
I assume this plate is not universal. It needs to. Oh, I see. Okay, there we go. Aha, I see your instructions here. Should I do the stabs now, Chaos, or do I do them after? This is a good this is a good guide though. I do like this. I'm just curious, what do I do first? Because I don't see stabilizers in yours. I do them first if you're doing stabs. Yeah. Which if you guys know me, I don't love stabs. I assume they just go here and here, right? And then everything else will be That's cool. Okay. Uh, where are his stabilizers? Here they are. Looks like we got uh, clear Duroc V2s. Yep, V2s. He gave me way too many, but that's okay. That's that's what I thought blind. I wasn't sure, uh, but it obviously it makes sense to have to do them beforehand. You know, if you use KTT strawberries, he wouldn't need them. Just saying. <clears throat> and honestly, I don't know about these pads. I'm gonna I'm gonna use mine. I've got I've got pads. So sorry, BB. I'm using using my pads on here. They're pretty good though. They're, you're not gonna be disappointed. At least I don't think you will be. Hope you're not. Uh, I guess I needed more than just two. Uh... Wait, Piptine, are you BB on here? I'm so confused. Oh, okay, good. You are here. Why, why didn't you say something earlier? Make me almost say something stupid like, man, I hate that BB guy. What an idiot, or something like that. <laughs> that wouldn't be good, man. I'm just giving you a hard time, though. But seriously, no worries. Um, let's get the tweezers out. This should work. Double check. Oh, these are for the, um, if you go full space, right? The 6U or whatever, 6.25. Is it 6 or 6.25? Which, by the way, whoever had that build with uh, SA Sale on it today, mm. Mm. that was killer looking. The wood looked amazing. Sail looks amazing with that wood. Yeah. That was hot. Huh, come on. Yeah, right, Chaos? Like, seriously, that was a like, stupid pretty board. Glass middle layers was primo. Yeah. All right, my one hipster moment. Um, I was ahead of the curve on glass green acrylic. Um, I saw, I don't remember what board it was. I saw it on Reddit like two years ago, two and a half, three years ago, whatever it was. It was all glass green. I was like, wow, I got to get some of that acrylic. And that's what set me out to build my corn with glass green acrylic. Um, and I paid, a, I paid more than I should have for that color. But at the time... Um, it was, it was worth it in my opinion. That board got like no upvotes on RMK. It actually got more on on o OLKB than it did on RMK. <laughs> um, in fact, my one of my highest posts of all time, I think, is my blank uh, FR4 plate corn with glass green bottoms. That's it. Um, but I spent a lot of time on that. It had SA Pulse on it. That was a nice board. 
Uh, and I ended up selling that board for a lot of money. I think I sold that board for like 250 to some dude in Canada. Insanely stupid amount of money for an acrylic board. But that's what he wanted. So. The frosty middle is so nice. Yeah, it's probably my favorite space space I've seen. Such a perfect combo. Well, hopefully this will be the everybody's favorite space space now. Um, something with mocha now. Yeah. All right. I hate looping. I couldn't think about where I heard this song before. And uh, if any of you guys follow Strictly Dumpling or Mikey Chen on YouTube, he's used it in his stuff. Um, couple other streamers, but I was like, I recognize this, and I couldn't figure out from where. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, lube. I hate lubing. With a passion. But I'm gonna treat this with the utmost respect. So what are you guys all doing on this Thursday night? Well, Thursday evening for us, East Coast gang. West Coast is still only 6.30. I know we got some West Coasters in here. Oh, this is a very... How are these not DMCA songs whatever i'm not going to complain but i know a lot of these sharp serenity thank you very much for the follow how are you welcome if you've been here if you or if you haven't been here welcome if you have thank you thank you very much i really appreciate that chaos just doing some firmware testing vibing to do playing titanfall 2 in your stream thank you that's cool Multi-streaming. That's neat. Um, let's let's do these after I do this. Like I said, my least favorite part of stabs. But mine don't rattle at all. Dielectric grease is the way to go. Get a paper towel because it gets gross. There will be some dielectric grease on your PCB. Just letting you know now. Sorry, BB. Pip. Hmm. But again, they won't rattle. That's the good news. Just doing uh, finishing watching the circle. Is that that one with um, Tom Hanks and uh, what's her name from uh, Harry Potter? Um, why can't I think of her name? Uh, what's going on with the stab? Is there any reason this doesn't fit into there? Okay, something is up. It should fit right. You guys seen this? Oh, you're talking about the reality show on Netflix. Okay, this is a first for me. Oh, that's a... Interesting. That's a really, really tight... Good lord. Okay. Yeah, uh, but it's funny. I, I haven't had this issue with the with the dark trans... I, I don't know. That's just... Okay, there we go. That's just so weird. I mean, I'm just trying to get some grease in there, but good lord. Alright, I'm going to try not to get too much grease on your nice PCB, even though you're never going to see it. There we go. 
there's one. Go for Hedgy Ortho Convert. So, actually, Chaos, let me read you my first three boards in order. It might surprise you. Actually, my first five. Okay. If you weren't if you weren't on any of my previous streams, I know you wouldn't have seen or known. Um, board number one <laughs> that got me into the hobby: a An Pro <laughs> um, Black with uh, Browns in it. So that was my very first board. Uh, after that. So I started with a 60%. After that, my second board, a new mini in a cyan with the acrylic bottom because I wanted that RGB. I was like, oh, got to have RGB. Third board was an easy on the wallet plank, Rev 5. So I actually was a ortho convert super early, um, but I, I went back kind of towards stagger for whatever reason. I don't even remember why. Um, so yeah, 65 to a houndstooth. Yeah, it's, I, I think, um, I think it's a certain type of mindset, but you just kind of, like, I, I wanted to challenge myself. I think that was my big thing. Um, if you've ever read the Wired article about small keyboards, small form factor keyboards, I was featured in that. And I meant it when I said that. That was like one of the biggest things to me was, I wanted to challenge myself and um, try and, and be different or unique. And so the small boards really spoke to me. Um, so going from a 60 straight to a ortho was like a challenge, and it was awesome. I'm glad I did. Like, no complaints. I'm, I'm really glad I did. All right. Yours don't include the washers, Pips, but um, I think I may have some extras. Although I don't think we'll need them for this. It doesn't look like it's in danger of shorting anything out, so I think we'll be okay. But yeah, I went 60 to 40. Then my first my first full official build was a UT47.2 or point one, excuse me, the first one. So um, my first actual build was like. All right, there's that screw. It, it hit from me. Uh, it was actually a pretty significant step up, if you will, from the onboard MCU where you're just doing a, a, a stab and um, switches. And then to go to that was pretty intense. And then, um, like I said, try not to dirty up your board, Pip. Um, I put, I remember I modified the hell out of that thing. Um, I ended up putting 21 RGB LEDs underneath that. <laughs> that probably was like super dangerous looking back at it, like how much voltage was going through that thing, but um, that thing was bright and it was awesome. I missed that one. <laughs> um, <laughs> it was just, and I, I won Xylance at the meetup, uh, the Atlanta meetup in 2018. And, um, <laughs> yeah, I, God, I put so many RGBs in there and I put Xylance. So I had like these super nice Xylance in a, uh, in a UT 47. Just didn't know at the time. I didn't know how much they were worth. So, but that was a good board. That was like one of my first travel boards, which was awesome. This one together. Oh, let's get a little extra. Come to Papa. This is a very non traditional way of lubing stabs, but like I said, my method seems to work pretty well. Go. 
like I said, this is like my least favorite part of builds. I think just because it's such it's such a tedious process. But comes with the territory. I understand that. that process. God, I hate that. Thanks for sticking with me through that. Let's see, what other boards did I have that were cool? I wish I never sold my Tanuki. That was a neat one. Obviously, Tanuki means panda, trash panda in Japanese. And I had uh, trash pandas in there. I have to build an 1800. Yeah, I felt bad for uh, <laughs> for Didi with the uh, base kit. I'm complaining about two stabs here. What was that, 16 or whatever? Some stupid number of uh, stabs. They're ordering another uh, who you call him trash guy. <laughs> no one calling trash. I'm not calling anyone trash. <laughs> um, Didi had... Uh, another PCB ordered, right? Another prototype. I want to see that thing work. And I love how triggered people got on RMK about that board. That one guy, it's just a, it's just a render. It's not real. It's not even working. It's not real. Like, relax, homie. Without 40s, we don't push innovation, and then you have nothing in your normie board, so shut your mouth. <laughs> True story, by the way. Okay. There we go. Look at that plate. Now I think it's switch time, right? I don't know how many switches you gave me, Pip, but I'm just gonna, yeah. I do the corners first if that's all right with you man this plate is flexible what what is this what material it's not acrylic is it that's like super flexy good god impact modified acrylic Oh, is that what the IMA is? What What's that stand for? Or not, what's it stand for? What, what does that mean, impact modified? Like just thinner, flexible, made to be taken abuse, I guess? Yeah, what does Jake say? By the way, um, in one in case one dies yeah no i'm not worried about how many i was just like i didn't know how many you sent or whatever if it was like the right amount or whatever no worries oh there's a pin bit. that's why we're struggling there we go seat you nicely We'll go ahead and solder the corners in. That way it holds. And then we can do the rest. I'm a big believer in making sure you get the corners in nice and tight. a tight little fit try not to burn too much of the uh, pin on the switch
Bulbasaur. <laughs> like Bulbasaur. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. If you haven't been here, how are you? Hope you're having a nice night. A good group here tonight. Currently 18 people. Appreciate that. I appreciate you hanging on the stream. Like I said, I do this for fun because I enjoy talking with you guys and having something to do. And obviously we all share this passion for boards. So thank you for hanging with me. And it's Thursday night. You could be doing something else. I don't know. Drugs. Hookers. Something. I don't know what you guys are into. Y'all a bunch of weirdos. <laughs> Kidding, of course. Or am I? <laughs> there we go. Nice. Alright, we're done. We're done with the build, right? <laughs> Alright, let's get the rest of these bad boys in. I will say this plate, because it's so flexible, I push pretty significantly. Look at that. Look at that flex in the plate. Good lord. The hooker's watching you. Hey, I, whatever you're into, right? Oh my god, this material is insane. Straight up. I figured, like, putting in the switches would make things easy. I don't know if that made it easier or harder. Yeah, I could see this being in-game material. Everybody was like, I want super flex. This might be it. Oh, I bet it sounds awesome. That's right, Bulba. It is always a good night. And again, thanks to Pip, who's in here, for letting me build his board. I appreciate that. I do know that there is someone else uh, who is working on a prototype and he's going to send it to me to build on stream when it's ready. I'm super excited for that one. I can't tell you who, um, but super, super excited. That'll be unveiled on my stream when he's ready to, when that thing's all set and ready to go. Um, that'll be a fun one for sure. And it looks awesome. I've already seen it or at least the renders. I'll be interested to see how it comes out with the, uh, I think he's going through PCB way. I think he's going to do a resin print. I, and I'm telling y'all, that's the route to go. If you're prototyping and you want a sweet-ass proto, do it. That little foot case over here is resin printed, and I am super pleased with it. And I got mine dyed, right? If you didn't get it dyed, it would look kind of like polycarbonate. Um, Will, Project Kane, he showed off his Curio that was resin printed. It looks awesome. Um, the only thing is you got to have thick bezels because it definitely bows a little bit. And it like anything bigger than 60% really doesn't work well with the resin print so 40s right up the alley for that type of stuff um but yeah i'm excited about that proto but again if you guys want me to build anything i am happily to, i'm happy to do it keep me busy i like just building in general i like seeing what you guys like so again big shout out to pip thank you so much for letting me build this i appreciate it i know you could have built it on your own um, I know a lot of people get joy out of that, so I'm not trying to take that away either, so thank you. I'm not going to talk about the hairs in your switches, though. They're not for me. Just saying. I don't know if you got a cat or a dog that sheds a ton, but... Or maybe it's your hair and that's just really gross and I don't want to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Please, no, I have no control over my cat. You know, I'm allergic to cats, actually. So if I die, it's your fault. No pressure, right? Yeah, I hear cats are everything. They get, they, uh... 
I've, I've got the two dogs. They're hanging out in the back on the chair over there, but... Why is this switch not... Oh, because I'm an idiot, because it goes this way. The one, like, reverse switch. Oh, because the MCU is there. Okay, that makes sense. Get a hyperallergenic fan. I don't want a cat. I really don't. I, uh... The two dogs are enough. Cats creep me out with how, like, assertive they are. <laughs> um, I'm good with just the dogs, thank you. Almost done here with putting these in. Yeah, this looks... Dude, this looks awesome. And even though the inks aren't my favorite, they're good linears, they're smooth. Um, that looks baller, man. What do you guys think? A lot of you are quiet. You're still hanging here. But that looks awesome. And I'm saving all your stuff to the side, Pip, so whatever I don't use will be sent back. No worries. But let's solder some switches, shall we? Man, there's a bunch next to the, MC to the uh, encoders. Good lord. What color is your cat, Pip? Or what breed, I should say, I guess, right? There's breeds, right? Yeah, there's breeds. I know that. I'm not an idiot. Uh, standard white cat, but he's a rescue. I don't know. He's deaf. Well, good for you. Um, the two the two furry idiots behind me are rescues, both of them. One we got from this organization, Fur Kids, and he's awesome. Um, I joke that he came pre-programmed. He like had all the basic commands down, which was awesome because my wife had never had a dog. So he kind of... It was easy to get used to him. And then like two years later, we picked up the second one, from the Humane Society, and she is a mess. Um, I did that stream like two weeks ago where it started thundering outside, and she lost her mind. I mean, like, absolutely lost her mind. So. We had friends with a blind and deaf dog, too. That was interesting. His name was Crash. <laughs> Which reminds me of Bull Durham, if you guys like baseball or like those types of movies. <sighs> Do they tend to balance each other out? Um, a little bit. He, uh, he got real fat for a while, and then when we got her... It helped him. He was lazy as shit. Um, and then when we got her, I had to start walking them because they had so much energy, especially her. She tore shit up. She had abandonment issues. So um, a couple of years ago, we started walking like a mile every day in the morning. And that's been our thing ever since. And uh, that helps. And they they play with each other. And the Rays lost. Yuck. Um, so they... They, I would say yes. They balance each other out, uh, but kind of in like weird ways. She also gets CBD uh, treats because she's so neurotic and anxious, so it helps keep her calm and chill. Which is funny. That dog's getting medicinally helped. That's a lot of solder on that. I don't like that. There we go. Do 
these encoders have indents or are they linear or smooth? Uh, indented. Which I, I would assume you'd want indented on big wheels like that, right? I mean... I could see like non non indented would be almost too smooth, right? Maybe, or am I overthinking it? Okay, that is sitting in there, right? It didn't look right. Rays fan, my apologies. Who are you a fan of, Pip? Rays are my second team, actually. They're my AL team. Um, but there's a reason for that. And Bulba, if you run the PC Ocean in the future, is there anything you'd want to do differently to it? Um, yeah, so if, and it's a big if, right? Although I am really grateful for the success so far of this group buy. Um, if I run a PC Ocean, I will add more supports to the weight and the bottom case. Um, because I designed for aluminum, with the aluminum case, the weight is not an issue. But with the uh, with the PC, the back and the front of the case tend to bend, and I'm paranoid I'm going to crack it one of these days. So that would that's what I would do. Um, but everything else I'd leave the same. I think the I think the PC and the brass looks awesome. And I don't mean, again, I, I don't mean to, like, flaunt it in front of you guys. It's just, that's my gift to myself. A year and a half of work, you know, um, put into the board. That was, like, one of those. And I paid I paid a lot for it. Um, you guys obviously got a good group buy price on the board. Um, that was not cheap as a one-off. That's for sure. In fact, both, this, the, both of the second versions with the prototypes were stupid expensive stupid expensive i think i paid i paid over two times per board than what you guys paid for the uh group buy so yeah now you know <laughs> um i had smooth encoders on one of the protos and it was fine but i liked a little bit of tactility though yeah i'm in la so i'm dodging oh pip i that's why it came from california i can't i can't with you man i'm a braves fan that's my that's my home team um I, oh god you guys just try and buy championships you finally won one it took you long enough and it took you a shortened season to do it now granted you got screwed by the astros and i won't argue that but still that switch got taken out at some point from another board <laughs> and it was a bitch to come out wasn't it <laughs> that thing is dented all right, all the switches are in chaos. Do I need to do any more soldering? Can I turn off my soldering iron? That's my big question to you. That one's borked. No worries. Um, all right, the case. Um, you soldered all your stuff. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Get a gold star. So that's the last step of the build. Cool. I'm going to shut this bad boy off. I have the encoder soldered in. Yes, they are. All three three pins on each are soldered, so we're good there. I just want to turn... That's a lot of heat coming off right here, too. Um, actually, give me guys two seconds. Hold on. Ugh. Sorry, speaking of heat... Time to drink. Should I should I be sponsored? Aha. It's actually really good. Do I get in trouble for that if I'm not officially sponsored or can I do that? Is that allowed? <laughs> okay. Alright. Um from the bottom row. What's this diagram on your build guide? It's I, I gotta show this so people can see it. Let's, uh, let's do this real fast. What is that?
Or are you just showing the stacking? I'm very curious about that. Peel your protective layers, we did. And you said the overall stacking. Okay. Oh, I see, and it's supposed to build out. Okay. So, this is actually not one. Or, yeah, that is one, right? Oh, it's this one. Okay, so it looks like... Looks like these three are my first bottom. Profile must be... The top layer will be smaller than the second layer. Interesting. Okay. So this is actually here. And then... Pip, is it... Uh, glass green is second, so narrowest at the top. Okay, got it. So glass green on top, right? Yeah. And then like that. That would make sense, because that way... Oh, that'll look cool. Okay, cool. Let's pull out the hardware, right? Oh, nice sticker. I promise I'm not going to lose any of this stuff. I promise. In fact, let me do you a solid. Well, I said I was not going to lose any of it. one more might have been I hope not if there is I'll find it I promise I think we're good I think if we're not I will I will find it my bad all right Jake provides extra so you never know okay all right, so um, place your O-rings on the bolts. Oh, was I supposed to put the bolts in first? These guys go like so, I assume. Yep, frosted side facing the mat, okay. Hey, Mechmaller with the raid. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much. How is everybody tonight? We're building a space space, ortho space space. So, um, welcome. That's cool. First raid. Welcome, all. Um, this is a unique build if, if you uh, have not seen this before. Where did Mech come from? I don't know if Mechmaller Mahler follows me or not. But Welcome. Yep, I slide the bolts in. Slap an O-ring to hold them until you drop the plate on. Okay. Mac, thank you for the follow and welcome. How are you tonight? Like I guess it's all right. We're off screen a little bit. We're, we're a little bit of a mess here, but we're all good. All right, and then you put the bolts on, you said, Jake? I do not, but Maker Jake told me to come by. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. That that's, means a lot. I appreciate it. And I am good. Like I said, we're building a unique build, the Space Space, which is an ortho, pretty unique ortho board, actually. Um, now I'm going to have to go follow you. <laughs> Keep expanding my network. And Pip, I saw you. You want to trade, you want to trade uh, stickers? Is that something? I don't, I'm not a big sticker guy. In fact, I may just send you back a bunch of stickers. How about that? Does that work? have all my stickers i don't i'm not a big sticker guy although my uh my Anpro 
was the first board that I like heavily modified and I sticker bombed the hell out of it. Um, the case was like super sticker bomb black and white and then a big red Supreme sticker in the middle because I thought I was cool or something. Mech, what kind of boards do you build since you're here? What are you known for? I do a lot of 40s myself, although I'll do anything. In fact, I think the once the group buy completes for the Palmetto 60, I will be doing a 60% build here as well. The guys from the South Carolina Discord were nice enough to let me or offer me that, which that's a cool board. Uh, chaos, this is time consuming, <laughs> but I bet it feels amazing. Are you getting are you getting one on the F and F? F and F. Oh, friends and family? No blind. I'm just uh, I'm just building it. I'm not gonna buy it. I'm just gonna although I might buy one. I tried one, I really liked it there. I just build whatever strikes my fancy. Cool. Well, I hope you uh, I hope you hang here for a little bit. Um, I'll definitely have to check you out and follow you. Um Reminder that the building from the top to bottom, so you will lay your plate with tops of switches facing the table. Yeah, no worries there. Um, sorry. So yeah, I I build a little bit of everything, um, but mostly 40s oriented, just because that's our that's our channel, that's our group here. Man, this thing's gonna look cool. That's a good color choice. It's kind of neat too. Um, all right, so we we look good here. Oops. All right, three more layers. Silk and black paint art is gorgeous, but you already knew that. The art looks awesome. I've always wanted to try a 40. Well, uh, if you want a premium 40, Oceanographer closes tomorrow at midnight, uh, Central Standard Time. Not that I would plug my own board or anything, but... <laughs> um, yeah, I'm actually really looking forward to wrapping that group, that group by up, but um, you are in a mostly 40s audience, so... I'm sure people would be happy to suggest uh, any 40s to you. I hope you give them a try one time. They really are awesome. All right, Jake said Matt's matte material facing down. Oh, oops, this way. Okay. All right. All right, so how do I know Chaos? I assume this goes on next. I did O-Rings. They're on the... Someone link him to the, uh, link him to the ocean, please. <laughs> um... Thank you. Thank you, Maker Jake. I appreciate that. Oh, I'm supposed to put O-Rings on here. Oh, okay. Got it. So it's like like a gasket mount, right? Kind of. You 40s people are weird. A kid. A kid. Yeah. No pressure, Mech. It's actually a relatively expensive 40. Uh, all things considered, it's a premium one. But um, at least give it a look. Tell me what you think. That's this per... That's the... Uh, <laughs> that's the PC one here on my desk. I do. That is not for sale. Uh, only aluminum, sorry. Uh, there's a little bit of a story to that, but um, hope you check it out. Yep, Burger Mounted, basically. Okay. You know, Burger Mounted is better name than, like, Gummy Worm Mount or whatever the new mods that kids are doing these days. Yeah, thank you, Mech. Um, Brooke, a.k.a. Meat Smoothies, uh, she works for Glorious now, actually. I don't know if you guys follow her on Instagram. She works for Glorious, but... Um, she designed the weight, so that was really awesome of her. All right, so I assume chaos. Now this one comes up to close it off, basically. Like I said, I'm gonna lean on you for this a little bit. Oh, I have it backwards. 
But Jake said mat side down, right? Or mat to mat side, does it matter? Hope I didn't do this backwards. Oh, this one could come right off. Yeah, I know down is up, but this is matte versus like shiny. That was what I was talking about. I still want to put like that on backwards or whatever. Right about now, you are switching. So like that, right? No, that can't be. Okay, I see. These guys should go on next, right? Because you got to fill that gap. Or am I an idiot? Sorry, th this is confusing to me. It shouldn't be, but... Making the cost of aluminum right now, and you're providing a pretty big brass weight and a brass FR4 plate OLED speaker. Yeah, Mech, the... Uh... So the frosted layer around the plate is frosted facing the mat, but after that it's frosted towards you until the end. Okay, got it. There's a lot going on, and the price does make sense. Thank you, Mech. I appreciate it. Yeah, um, I tried to be reasonable with the price and whatnot, um, and that the whole board with keycaps weighs five pounds, so it's a hefty 40. Small pieces are feet, no? Yeah, that's what I thought. Like, this should be, looking at the chart above... This should be the first layer next. There's a small gap here. I can feel it, right? And then it should be, are these the same? These are the same, right? of the wheels okay yep and then they're smaller on top right so smaller as we get towards towards me there we go that looks right all right there we go the first one's right why are there two extra holes here i assume that's needed so I'll leave those. Now it's just the fun part. The wheels, which if you guys didn't see these encoders earlier, these are awesome looking. Like seriously, those are awesome. Um, and now we need these. Those should go on the right before the feet. Okay, so don't touch anything, right? This is how it should be. Correct? I just want to triple check. <laughs> Two, three, four, six screws per. Pull the bottom half of the plate assembly set. Okay. Those are some dark ass screws. Okay. Oh, Jake, these are 3D printed too. That's cool. That's awesome. Okay. All right, so assemble these parts now. On the right side, you should see the holes on the layer closer to. Thank you. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Thank you. Sorry. Like I said, this one seems a little confusing. I think it's just because there's so many layers. So hopefully my stream, as this will record, will be a guide for people. Couldn't understand what you guys meant at first. Now I get it. Okay. And now we're going to screw things in.
Yeah, no worries, Jake. It's all good. Don't want to over tighten these. But that's cool. I like, Jake, that you include extras of everything. Super helpful for a lot of reasons, but. Awesome. Glad I could help, Ready? Seriously. Uh, and, like, I like building unique things, so this is kind of cool. Um, and because it gives me something new to try. And maybe I'll go back to ortho. Maybe I can always get my own, too, right? <laughs> we'll see. I gotta get comfortable with, like, combos and stuff on QMK or Vile or... Which, by the way, is this poured in via or vial, or is it just QMK right now? Just did. I just did it with QMK, but uh, he may have added vial support. I'm not sure. Just QMK still. Okay. All right. And this goes on top of the encoder. Right? Does it snap on? Do I need to do anything special to get this bad boy on? I don't want to break anything. Okay, so do you use some force for this? I don't want to hurt anything. I can see it. Like, I've got it lined up, but... There we go. That's a little unnerving. Not gonna lie. I think we're okay. 3D printed tolerances go burr. That's right. This one's getting caught on something. I'm not sure what. Is that normal? some switch pins okay uh so i assume these can come straight up off yes i do have flush cutters that's the good news yeah the washers are in there so you think i should clip some switch pins is that not what these are Or are you guys talking about another washer that I'm not paying attention to? Uh, I don't see any other washer. Okay, so should I clip some switch pins? Well, they don't seem to be too tall.
Like I said, I just don't want to screw this up. <laughs> no pressure, right? It doesn't look like anything's scratching on the underneath side of these, so... You had to for you. you had to clip? Okay. Then fine. Let's, uh... Let's, uh, let me grab my other flesh cutters. These are not the greatest. These are old. These have been used a long time. Uh, just the gaskets here, Jake. That's it. Um, there were the washers in here, these guys. And then the bump-ons here. That's it. That's all I had. That's literally it. And then we've got, obviously, the foam. Tell you what. Um, saw them in my assembly. Yeah. Okay, yeah. All right. Let me, um, I can always take this apart, right, if it's struggling. So let me, let me try again. I just want to make sure this doesn't have any problems for Pip. Okay, that one's okay. I think once those are clipped, it'll help a lot. Okay. Probably. I bet it's the, uh, I bet it's the screws that the black screws are catching. That'd be what my money's on. Okay. And let's clip those pins so they're not an issue. Let me get my flush cutters. Alright. Alright. Come to Papa. Probably not the safest, but... Kind of curious where these are flying to. Let's hope I don't have to desolder those, right, Pip? This is like peak 40s energy, isn't it? Just recklessly clipping like F it just go with the flow okay come here I see you come here don't you get stuck in this case I don't need you to scratch anything up there we go all right let's try this again What do you know? That should be updated in your build guide chaos. <laughs> this one's still not perfect, but it's better than it was. So it doesn't help that it's not sitting perfectly, but that's okay. We'll get that fixed. There we go. Okay. All right, I think we're a lot better than we were just a few minutes ago. I can move on. All right. So basically now I want to stack all these pieces, right? 
that's the key. And I want to screw them together. And then these will end up on the bottom. I see how this goes, I think. And I need the standoffs, which are here. Looking at your build guide chaos. Uh, they go in here, right? Yep. And this is on the outside, so this gets flipped up because it's going to end up that way. Does it matter which size? Are these all the same M to M2 screws? Or are they different sizes? Because some look smaller than others. But I assume these are the, you need the small ones for these. The next thing you know, you're gonna have to do the Heidi, Heidi mod. I don't know what the Heidi mod is. What's the Heidi mod? Someone educate me. Oh god damn it! I fell right into. Fuck you, <laughs> fuck you, static. I fell right into that. God damn it. I can't believe I just walked in, like, oh my god. You know, it's funny, um, <laughs> yeah, but that was bad, I, I admit, like, I walked right into that. There should be little skinny baby feet for the final foot. There are two sizes of screws, the more silver ones are one millimeter longer, okay. These look right. These are tiny. I would say better color maybe next time, Jake. <laughs> if you need screw hookup, I actually uh, if you're not if you're going through McMaster car, I might be able to get them cheaper, honestly. So if you need the screw hookup for lots and lots of like M2s and M3s, don't be afraid to ask me. Yeah. The one side of the wood was peeled, and then this one I did peel off myself. But yeah, I, I saw the burn. I peeled it, so this is... I peeled everything first, because that peeling feeling. Interesting. Oh wait, do these... Uh, Alright, this is where your build guide's confusing chaos. Just a little bit. Not gonna lie. big piece goes down next so this one goes on like so so the stand so the standoffs just sit in there like randomly that seems weird right right i understand that like this will go next but was i supposed to i'm not sure I love this. Did did I do these screws right? That's my question. Are just there for bottom angles. Okay. Sorry, I feel like I'm struggling with this build and I shouldn't be, but Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, they go on the other side. Gotcha. Okay, 
That makes more sense. Because as I say, you got to be able to see the design, right? And then basically the screw heads sit in those holes. Okay. We're good now. I'm glad I got you guys here. I swear I'm not stupid. <laughs> oh my god. Which makes sense. Now the standoff holes go through the... Okay. Hey, you guys. Pip never gets a build done again on stream. That's the deal. Sounds like MGK. Once the standoffs get flipped around, the bigger foot with the knob cutouts goes, right? These. It's gonna go here. Okay. There we go. And then the sandwich. And then you screw it all back together. Okie dokie. I assume these are the longer M2 screws. Cool. Okay, that's not so bad. What about these guys and the other feet? I assume they come never? Did I miss something with this foam? Like, I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Or did that go in the middle somewhere? Just want to make sure I didn't screw up somewhere. Yeah, sorry. I don't know what to do with this foam. I feel like that's a necessary piece. That's the cork feet? Okay. Oh, and it'll... It'll go there. Okay, well, Pip, do you want the cork feet? It's up to you, Pip. Yeah, I'm with you. Don't cover that engraving, right? Is this the right size screw? Need the shorter ones. Yeah, I'm with you on the engraving, man. Yeah, engraving, engraving, engraving. Yeah. But I don't feel comfortable about these standoffs. They seem pretty loose, but... I guess it's all going to come together. news is if Pip hates any of this, he can just take it apart and do it whatever the way he wants. That's just to hold that together. That's really all that is. Okay. And now we can do the fun part with the purple screws, right? I need a flathead for that. These are sweet bolts. I do like these a lot. Be gentle on the flathead, soft aluminum. Okay. Thank you, Jake. Try a different one. Get everything nice and aligned, right?
little secret for those of you that are car guys. You already know this, but I like to cross thread for various number of reasons. <laughs> but helps keep everything nice and aligned. I just realized I haven't flipped this thing over yet, so we don't know what the bottom or the top looks like, which is kind of fun. I think that's kind of neat. This will be fun. Okay, I can already see this one's going to be a pain. Come on. There we go. And seriously, I appreciate all the help tonight, gentlemen. It's a team effort. But that's what the 40s community is really good for. Supporting each other. So thank you. And like I said, I don't normally struggle with builds. I think it's just all the layers are confusing. But once I understood it, I was like, okay, this makes sense now. So Oh yeah, it's unique. But that's why I wanted to do it. And that's why when... Pip added or Pip offered. I was like, "Yeah, I'm excited." But I've done a couple of unique builds now on this stream, which is fun. Did the SP Mini, did this. If you weren't here last night, I rebuilt my ocean in like 40 minutes. It was a speed fest, truly. It was actually kind of funny. Okay, that one's giving me a hard time. I don't like that screw. There, see? I didn't like that screw, and I was right. And Pip said, no feet for now. You don't even want the top feet up here to protect from the screws? What chaos? What are you going to hit me with? Did we screw something up? Small wood feet before the cork. They go here, right? With this assembly, right? Oh, that's not a big deal. That's easy. That's an easy fix. No worries. And it explains why I need the longer screws. Okay. All good. That's easy. No worries. And in fact, I actually enjoy the way this case was designed. Because that's an easy, easy fix. And it, it makes sense now. I'm like, okay, this is perfect. Do I need to, I need to peel this, right? Yeah. These get peeled. I gotta say, it's, uh, I appreciate you guys hanging through this. Um, probably good that the little foot got screwed up so I can focus on this build, but maybe I'll just have to finish the little foot this weekend. Come on. Oh, that is my bad. I'm trying to peel what's already peeled. My bad. Sorry. That makes sense why there's longer screws. Okay, we're all good now, boys. That's not the end of the world. That's an easy fix. Thank you. And the question for Pip is, do you want the cork on, on these? Or do you want the two top cork feet? How about that? It's up to you. Yeah, pockets for designing a sweet-ass board, for sure. Which question? Should I get the, uh... Should I get the... Sh the shift? The shift? The shift? 
the premium one. Shift Plus. Yeah, that one. Thank you, Sofa. And how are you? I haven't seen you post up in here, so how are you? All right, Pip. Final chance. Yes or no on these? You want on here? I would say you probably should, but that's just me. I'll put all your hardware back in a minute. Yep, definitely. Okay, thank you. Just want to make sure. That way your screws aren't... aren't... Uh, They do go on top of this, right? I can pull it off right now. But I assume they go there. I'll let you pull it off if you want to. How about that? And that's nice. You don't have to use the bump-ons, actually. And Pip, do you want the uh, bump-ons on the purple screws on the bottom here? Or no? covers too much yeah in the build guide he's got bump ons right here all right it's up to you i i don't have to but i feel like i want to wash my hands but i don't want to leave you guys for two minutes while i do that you put them next to the hardware but it covers that nice engraving i'll leave it up to him i'll leave those so we'll we'll put everything back all this hardware that's your choice pip i don't need it because i got the desk mat down so we're good there Let's put all this hardware back, and then we'll do the grand reveal in a second. This is exciting. That makes sense, Chaos. Alright, I told you I'm keeping all your stuff over here, so we're not losing anything. Got a lot of garbage. Hey Kyle, this is the Space Space. I'm actually about to do the grand reveal and flip it over, and if, if everybody's okay for two seconds, I'm gonna go wash my hands, because I don't want to mess up the... I think I already did. No, we're good. Although there's some cat hairs in there, so you're gonna have to deal with that. Um... But I'm going to wash my hands. Two seconds. Bet you guys have never had a uh, streamer just get up and wash hands, right? <laughs> nice sat 40. Kyle, get out of here. <laughs> God, I love my ocean. You be quiet. All right. Yeah, there's a couple of hairs. I'm going to let you deal with them. But you guys want to see it? Anticipation's killing you. One, two, boom. It's funny because you can barely see the knobs. They were right. These are nice. Look at that. That was a great. That glass green with this uh, beige is killer. 
That is nice. Yeah, see, there's a cat here right here. <laughs> I'm going to let you deal with that. <laughs> and there's, uh, there's a couple in there. That's, that's your fault. That's your problem, not mine. Test out that IMA. Yeah, I will. Uh, let's get some... Let's get some uh, keycaps on here, and then we'll definitely we'll go for the test. How about that? Okay, let's do that right now. Um, you guys tell me. So these are not obviously Pips keycaps. Um, we can do Black Hub. We can do Nautilus. We can do Candy Bar Black on White. Um, DSA paperwork. Frosted with pink acrylic is love. That's right. So we've got a couple options. Again, uh, black on white from the 40s. Kit, the, these are the candy bar keycaps. We have DSA paperwork, uh, GMK Nautilus. I actually think I have enough light cycle to do it if we wanted to. Black Hub. Um, what are you? What are you? Yeah, Pip. What are you gonna do? That's the question. Let me get a QMK pulled up too. That hair is going to bother the shit out of me, but I'm letting you do it. I don't want to fuck with the hub pro, uh, row profiles at the moment. I'm going to be fully honest, because they are a bitch if you don't know, if you haven't messed with hub. Um, Let's, I, I, just personal opinion, um, because I actually know that I used a couple mods on my, on my SP Mini. Let's do black on white on this, just for now. I think that's the move. And then you can put whatever the hell you want to put on it later. Plus, I think I still have the two U spacebar. Well, I've got one of them for sure. Q-W-E-R-T. Wow. I did not expect that sound. Holy crap. Let's see. Um, wow. That. I can't even hear it. Wow. So if you use silence, like, oh, they are silent inks. That's why. That's insanely quiet. Holy shit. Yo. And look at that. Look at that flex. Oh my god. So, uh... My next build's gonna be IMA. There's no question about that. Sorry, I gotta go through these keycaps, because, um... Fortunately, I got them all mixed mixed up from the uh, SP Mini build. ASDFGH, ASDFGH. I forget there's mid mods here. I'll call them mid mods. JKL. I put quote there, but you can put semicolon, whatever you want. <laughs> uh, I got a note, Pip. What are your mods going to be in the middle here? What are your plans? Yeah, Palm's still always a winner. C, B, B, N, M. One, two. Uh, 
I have a lot of function keys in this set. Good lord. Maybe some pseudo artisans. That's those would be sweet. He makes good shit. Is uh, do you guys know? Is there anything already pre-programmed onto the? Is there like a base um, key map on here that when I plug it in, it'll test and work? missing Y. Where are you hiding? There you are. Mind did come flash. Okay, and this is V2, right? This is not anything is this a to you? Yeah, to you. That is not. It's 2.25. I'm an idiot. Oh, you know where my 2U is? I know where my 2U is. It's up on my SP Mini. Alright, well, they're gonna be. Nope, that's too small. Jesus. Do I not have the two U's? Okay, that's two U. There should be one more two U. That's not black. Yeah. Is that right? Or is one bigger? Is this a 2.25? There's a default flash on there. It's super usable. I'll let you be the judge. Okay. Sorry, just make sure the stabs are good. This is 2.25, isn't it? No, this is definitely a 2U. This one here. But the other one is 2.25, and if that is, there we go. Yeah, 2.25, 2U. And then 1Us and 1.25s, I'm assuming. So, um, again, I don't use, and these are all 1.5s. Interesting. Okay. Dealable. Actually, I just realized you could basically use, like with space bars, you could use like a base kit for this and have exactly what you need. I feel like shift would go there. <laughs> I don't know if that's right, but that's where I feel like it would go. This is why I should have used DSA, because it's all one profile and it wouldn't have been a big deal. Although inner will probably be there. Like, let's be honest. I'm not gonna. Well, that's our delete inner shift. That'd, actually, that'd be hilarious if that's just how it was. Um, I don't think I, I don't think the candy bar set comes with a 1.5 delete. Like that's like a base kit set. Um, big ass space bar there. So let's, um, I don't know, put like alt here or something. I'm sure it's like a 1.5 backspace. 
Who cares? You're going to find what you want on your board tip, so it's all good. Um, I'm just here to make sure it works. <laughs> uh, could do the hedgy special and put the escape down here. Uh, what was I looking for? Is there a 1.25? No. There should be a one you control. Yeah. Oh, it's a 1.25. Uh, that's right. This is the one you. So, like, one you code. Yeah. And then control and. Where's all? Uh, we have an alt. Let's do an alt. There we go. Hey, look at that. Yeah, this one. This one's out of profile. It's okay. I don't mind. Like I said, this is not mine. This is Pip's. He's going to do with it what he wants. I'm just here to, to show that it works. That's all my job is. Hey, look, here's a clipping from the... Uh... Which I am sending this all back in your KBD fans box, Pip, so it'll be nice and secure. No worries there. excuse to use this set anyway all right moment of truth let's see if everything works shall we <laughs> setting up device would be five pound polycarbonate brick hey all right, let's see if I can get this so that you guys can see. Moment of truth, right? Uh, all right. I wish that got bigger. I don't use the normal key set. All right. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. That's a great sign. And whoever, Jake, if this is your base layer with quote instead of uh, colon, slimy colon on base layer, that's the right move. All right. Um, that's Windows. Okay, so let me take this off. I, you guys can hear it, but I want to show you. All right, that's Windows or user interface. What is this? Uh, control. Close enough. Backspace, which I figured would be there, honestly. Space. Alt. Pause play. Okay. <laughs> Pockets get the love for that map. Oh, okay. Right is volume. Right scroll wheel. And left, I don't know. Left's not doing anything at the moment. Do you know what left is supposed to be? Do we know? Left is the mouse wheel. Oh, ah, that's cool. Okay, that's cool. I like that. All right. And then enter. Where was enter? Oh, I didn't even test that. Oh, that's not right. Hold on. Uh-oh. Uh, that's delete. That's tab. That's shift. Enter is K and L. Okay. Interesting. So every key works. That's the good news. Uh, this is delete, tab, which I, I don't know. I might combo Q and W for tab. But that's delete, too. Weird. This is back. Oh, hey, smart. Combo is backspace here. Uh, there's no combo here. There should be one here, in my opinion. Okay. S and D combo tab. Yeah. 
all right it's an interesting map i'd give it a try the good news is i don't have to where did we say enter was this is gonna mess with me enter is k and l that's so weird i would have done the others but okay All right, so let's do this. All right, I am ready to struggle on ortho. All right, 70 with some struggles. Um, it's a perfect gamer board, interesting. All right, what I wanna do here for a second, pause that. All right, let's see if I can hear it. Yeah, that bottom row always fucks me. Not great, but what I really want, I'm going to unplug this, plug this back in. I think, uh, I think I'm sold on the uh, IMA plate and the silent eight, like, God, that sounds amazing. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this, uh, oh, sorry. I've been, let me do this. Do, do, do. There we go. Yeah, that sounds awesome. I am so thoroughly impressed with this board. The layout actually is pretty intuitive. I'd change, I'd change like the position of the combos for me personally. Like just if I, enter would be uh, L and quote, um, backspace, I think it was that. I, I would do that, but I was already leaning towards left thumb for that. Um, this is super comfortable. Again, bottom row, like, these these five fuck me up on ortho. Otherwise, I'm, I'm pretty straightforward. I was, like, I was reaching too far for B. I was reaching here versus, like, straight down, right? Um, but, man, you guys, <laughs> you guys knocked it out of the park. Uh, Dosis, um... Straight up, I remember, I'm going to release the plate files once the group buy ships. So if you want to do an IMA plate, um, I fully support that. I think that would sound amazing, honestly. Um, and you can do it like the same color, close to the color of brass. It would all look the same. I I may have to try that, especially on the uh, the aluminum purple one I have. Because um, that's, that's unbuilt at the moment. Once that group buy completes, I'll do that. So, oh shit, I'm an ocean. So far, are you not in the ocean yet? Or are you going to do it on the ocean? He has brass and copper. Dude, this board is cool. I am glad I got to build this tonight. Um, this thing is sick. Oh, in the first five minutes. I thought you did, Sofa. Thank you. So, uh, Pip, when you get this, when I send it back, I'll probably try and get it in the mail tomorrow since Friday. Um unless I start using it at work, but I doubt it. <laughs> um, you'll have to unscrew the purple screws and take the layers apart to get the hair out, but I'm going to let you do that. Um, 
Gib files. I'll get ocean. Once it ships, Jake, I want to I want to get it shipped out first, and then we'll release the plate files. Um, seems stupid, but we're being a little hush hush about it because um, I had a bunch of people ask for render files, and I had to like really pare down the board. And uh, DCS Blue Moon should be showing it off on Ocean coming soon. That's the guy hit me up for that. But um, this thing feels. It's got like a little bit of flex. It's not like stupid flexible, but with the silent inks, this is so good. Pip, you're gonna love the hell out of this, man. Uh, I'm almost jealous. I wish I didn't have to desolder this fucking little foot either. God damn it. <laughs> I thought I was gonna have two ortho builds tonight, but no. Someone had to go fuck it up. Um, but I'll build this again later this weekend. I'll, I'll probably desolder this and then just redo the stream. What happened with Littlefoot Sofa? So I soldered in the switches, but uh, I forgot to solder in the um, Elite C uh, pins holders. So I have to desolder all the switches to take the plate off to solder in the, the actual um, Elite C holder standoffs. And then I can resolder the switches. So, not the end of the world. Uh, I have a gun. It's okay. Uh, but the good news is if we figured out what size standoffs I need, how many, this is the right height. Life is good. We'll, we'll get this. We'll get this up and running this weekend. Um, and actually, it'll be good. A good way to test my combos. So, yeah, I do. I have a desolder gun. It's amazing. If you guys don't have one, um, they're relatively cheap. Actually, I think I got mine off eBay for like a hundred bucks. And it has come in handy so many times. Like, normally I'd be like, oh, it's stupid, but um, I think it's worth it. I don't think you need the Hako one that's, like, you know, $200. So you can get one for $100. Um, but, yeah, this was a fun build. It was challenging. I liked it. Um, but this is a great combo, dude. Uh, Pip, this is glass green with the with the beige. It was a great color combo. The wood on the bottom is so sick. That looks cool. And I love the wood. Like, I saw the black one in Chaos's build. Obviously black. It looks good with the stars and the white, but... Um, this is killer. That's good. And you can, you can clip the pins if you want a little more. They're fine. They catch, like, one or two times, but it's the screw heads. So, uh, up to you how you want to handle that. But... Thank you so much for letting me build this. I really appreciate that. Um, and if anybody else missed that, if you want me to build a board, I will do it free of charge. I like building. I like hanging out with you guys. Um, yeah, I, I may I may have to buy one of these. I don't know what I, I may be paralyzed by like the color combos, um, but I think I can come up with something cool. And I think this glass green on top of whatever color you choose is probably a sick idea, honestly. Um, I don't know how often I'd use it, but I would get one just for the shits, because this is this is cool. Yeah, you may have to just get the black and white, right? I bet it would look good with a lot of different keycaps, honestly. You picked a nice color. Um, you could always do, like, a black and white. That'd be cool. Although white acrylic is not my favorite. Now you got me thinking. Yeah, Jake, it will go smoother for sure. Uh, and obviously, because I now I've done one. Um, relatively easy build outside of the layers like obviously soldering in the encoders and then the switches putting in the stabs um, good stuff man this is this is a great build so uh, where's pockets pockets uh, great build very nicely done pip thank you so much I really really appreciate it um, Jake nice work this is a collaborative effort and I think again that's that's what we're good at in 40s right we we all collab we all do well. So thank you guys so much. Thanks for hanging with me tonight. Got to go get ready for my interview tomorrow. <laughs> I'll nail that. I'm excited. Um, but it was a team effort. That's why we're 40s. That's why we're awesome. We're not toxic. We're uh, we're awesome like that, and we're open. So, but thank you again, everybody, and um, thank you, Pip. I appreciate it. Yeah. So for interviewing for a new job, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Thank you. Um, Hopefully, hopefully it allows me to feel a little bit better, a little more mental, mental states in a little better spot. But we're all good, so thank you. Thank you, guys. And I appreciate all of you being here, hanging here for two and a half hours. Um, 
It was fun. It was a lot of fun. And we're not toxic, Jake. Only I'm toxic. <laughs> but thank you guys so much. So, And thank you for getting in on the ocean. Um, let me flash that real quick. Make sure to remind them to put this to the side. Reminder, this is the purple. It is beautiful. Do not skip on this. If you are on the fence, if you're in here and you have not purchased this, and you are on the fence and you want a five pound, 40% premium board, do it, do it. Um, again, it, oh, and let me show you with the knob. The knob matches so well, oh my God. Toe breaker, yeah. That's what I should have called it, toe breaker. I probably will do like a 65% in the same layout. It'll be called the, um, uh, I had an ocean name for it, something. And then I'm going to do 100% and it'll be called the Ocean Master. So it'll be like an ocean series. Some brass anime would look pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, just so you guys know how close this purple is to purple, it's a perfect match. I'm like so happy with that. So if you haven't, if you're on the fence about buying the knobs and you haven't bought any knobs, do it. Um, yeah. This, this knob is amazing. Uh, Justin at Zentric Guitars, Eccentric Guitars, does amazing work. No, it wasn't Oil Taker. It was something else. Uh, like I said, the 100% the is going to be called Ocean Master. I don't remember what I was going to, what I was calling the 65%, um, but that one will, yeah. Uh, and this is purple on black. So if you got black and purple, again, perfect. Oh, Ocean Voyager. That's what it was. Ocean Voyager for the 65%. Ocean Master for the 100%. Got to stick with the theme, right? And if you guys weren't here last night, um, I'm going to pull it out. We got a green knob, green and black. We've got blue and black, which is a little dark. It's hard to see, but actually super nice. Blue and white. Uh, I have so many knob things going on right now. Green and white. These greens will be tweaked a little bit. They'll be a little bit darker. Um, and then, like I said, if we want to do group like uh, key set color runs, this matches DSA light cycle perfectly. Sorry, I'm trying to get to focus. I don't know if I can. There we go. This matches light cycle perfectly. So if you guys uh, if you guys want to do like a group by run color, like um, I don't know, uh, paperwork. Like if you want to do some like paperwork knobs, if you want to do like to match this green or this yellow, um, I have that ability. We can we can set that up. Like the minimum order quantity is like fifteen. So if uh, if you're in the ocean by and you want to do, I don't know. Um, Nautilus, blue and yellow knob, and that's what you want to roll with, we can do that. Um, so we'll, as soon as the group buy closes, I'll talk to Justin, we'll figure out um, cost to do those types. It shouldn't be, I don't think it'll cost any more, in fact, I think it'll be the same price. Um, but I'll make sure he's able to match them. And uh, yeah, it'll be awesome. So. <laughs> what a knob idea. Yeah, <laughs> I get you, knob. Ha! Uh, wow, there's four keyboards on my desk. <laughs> Not including the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten up there. So, um, but you guys have seen all those. So, thank you again, though, for everybody for hanging. We're at the two hour and 45 minute mark. I really, really appreciate everybody chilling tonight. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful Friday. And like I said, maybe maybe Saturday or uh, during the day, maybe Sunday, I will stream uh, the rest of this little foot build. So thank you again. Everybody have a great night. Signing off. See ya.